All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, so in the spirit of the entrepreneurship panel, um, I'm going to start a little bit with my story. I launched a tutoring platform back in university. I was studying mechanical engineering, believe it or not. And it flopped, complete and utter failure. And so what I did was I followed up with two years of research on the, the cognitive psychology of learning. Really, there's just the process of taking information, breaking it down, consolidating it to memory, and then retrieving it to execute on your tasks. And I ended up writing a book on student study habits. And what I found was two things. First, 27% of people identify problems concentrating as their number one issue at work. And secondly, we actively know how to fix that, both in the research and in practice. And we don't on a day-to-day -day basis. We let ourselves get distracted by our environments. And it's no surprise we live in a world where advertising is a billion-dollar industry actively stealing our attention away. All that to say, we're using neurotech and biosensing to try and solve that problem. So what we're developing as our first product is a pair of over-ear headphones. It's Bluetooth, it's got noise canceling, and it embeds four EEG sensors that measure your brain activity in order to detect your level of concentration and improve that while you work. So if you want to talk a little more about that, I'll be circling around afterwards. Happy to dive into the details. Thanks, Laga. Hello, everybody. So I'm Dr. Vincent Paquette. I'm a clinical uh, neuropsychologist. Uh, so I did uh, many research and published uh, papers on fMRI, EEG, and uh, PET scan, uh, especially doing uh, or showing the impact of uh, psychotherapy on the brain. Uh, so uh, in my uh, private practice, I use uh, QEEG and neurofeedback, uh, EEG neurofeedback, and recently I developed a new uh, way to combine uh, near-infrared and red therapy uh, with uh, um, EEG, so all together. So uh, that's my new uh, stuff right now. So I, I'm in a pilot, uh, I'm doing a pilot study right now, and I'm trying to start up uh, this uh, business, so I may... Uh, talk to somebody here. So, um, so my uh, private practice is in uh, Longueuil. So, um, so uh, we are just a few uh, um, uh, clinicians who are doing uh, QEG and neurofeedback uh, in Quebec. So, uh, just to know that uh, it's something uh, we can do with uh, kids and adults. So, thank you very much. Hi everyone. They, they didn't get my presentation, so I'll go. Uh, I'll go without any uh, any support. My name is Edouard. I'm the CEO of uh, Mr. Young, uh, an empowering tool for companies to uh, help their communities prevent anxiety to happen. We've uh, come up with the, the realization that there was a big problem in, uh, in, in society right now, and more specifically with regards to uh, companies. There's been an increase, increasing number of people suffering from anxiety uh, disorders, stress, depression and other mental health disorders in uh, the uh, workplace. Uh, today, the problem is that companies and insurances are on a reactive model rather than a preventive model. And that leads to uh, the fact that 52% uh, of disability claims are related to mental health uh, disorders. We, there's, a, there's a big shift on, the, on that end, and insurance companies and, and companies uh, haven't necessarily taken uh, that, uh, that proactive role uh, on, uh, with, with regards to uh, preventing anxiety or stress to happen and uh, other disabilities. So we came up, we came up with this, and it costs, as Stefan mentioned, uh, or Noah, sorry, uh, mentioned uh, earlier on, uh, uh, it costs today $51 billion uh, dollars, uh, a year in Canada in productivity losses and costs uh, for, um, uh, on an economical uh, level. So we came up with this opportunity. Rather than finding ways to deny uh, disability claims or uh, not helping uh, people deal with uh, their mental health, what if there was a way we could help companies and insurance company, uh, and insurances uh, prevent disabilities to happen, anxiety disabilities to happen? And so that's how we came up with this idea of building a chatbot, that, uh, an intelligent chatbot that could help uh, their employees on and finding immediate access to uh, insights and care, being connected with professionals through their employee assistant program and monitoring their, their health care. Acting upstream is one way to, for you to, for the companies to prevent anxiety to happen. Okay, let's chat uh, later on. Thank you very much. Does it, that's the mic. 
Hi, everyone. So uh, we're with a company called Cube. Uh, Cube has been developed with Academia, uh, with the HSC Montréal, uh, the Tech 3 Lab. So it's a Tech 3 Lab spin-off. Uh, so the technology takes one gigabyte per hour of physiological data that is emitted by the human being, and it brings it together to really understand and optimize the customer experience. So when I say physiological data, I mean where is someone looking, how fast are, is their heart beating, uh, what's their electrodermal activity, their pupil dilation. So when we look at these measures separately, individually, we're missing a great deal of the story. When we bring these measures together, and this is what Cube does, we're able to really understand what's going on. So we're able to know, for example, uh, with our arousal ag algorithms, if an Instagram post or, um, or an advertisement is going to go viral. We're able to understand with our positive emotional engagement uh, algorithms if um, uh, if something is gonna if something is gonna cap the attention or not, we're able to know with cognitive load levels and negative emotions. We're able to detect up to 50% more friction points on an e-commerce on a website than traditional methods. So our um, our uh, our software is currently being used by some of the largest banks and consulting firms in Canada that are user centric, that understand the importance of of, of being user centric, and that know that friction can cost billions of dollars for companies every year. So we are very happy to tell you more. You can come and see us in the back if you have any more questions. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you very much Yannick for the invitation. Um, Christian Dansereau, I have uh, start, I finished my PhD last year uh, in computer science and uh, decided to bring some of the technologies that I've developed during my PhD uh, into the market, into the clinical realm and uh, the pharmaceutical realm. So I've started uh, Perceive AI, which is a company that is an AI-driven company uh, applying precision medicine. Um, to give you an idea, so basically uh, the efficacy of most, disease, uh, of most medication basically is quite low in uh, most of the leading drugs, so 5 to 25, 30%. And the reason for that is in many cases the heterogeneity of the pathologies that we are targeting. Uh, most of those people don't necessarily have the disease that we are targeting them for. So imagine uh, that that specific field of precision medicine emerge in, uh, from, from cancer therapy. And in cancer, they have um, basically nobody would identify cancer as a one size fit all disease, but as multiple sub disease. And this is exactly the same thing that you could translate to uh, neuropsychology, uh, neurological disease like Alzheimer's disease. And what we want to do is to identify subpopulation that have the desired characteristic for clinical trial and enrichment. So um, a clinical trial will enrich, will will try to identify subjects that will be suitable for their treatment. And um, usually they, they do a fairly good job, but in some cases, like in Alzheimer's disease, they have a lot of difficulty to identify the right population. And this is where we are coming with a multi-model solution that will try to identify risk factors for um, those population. So if you have any questions, please come see me and uh, I will be happy to chat. Thank you.